Was it? Hey everyone, I'm Stephanie Gomolka, auction.com correspondent, and the energy is pumping here in this hallway at CrimeCon Day 2, and I'm joined with a team that needs no introduction, especially for Oxygen fans, the crew of Cold Justice. We got Kelly, Tanya, and Steve here. How are you guys feeling? Good. 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 So I know you guys are veterans of CrimeCon. You've been before, is that right? Yes. What has it been like this year so far? I know you guys just got in about last night or maybe the day before, but what's the energy feeling like for you guys? It is crazy. We're just happy to see all the people that love to watch our show and it, the energy is high and they're excited. We're excited. Yeah, they're just asking if you guys can hold the mics up so everyone can hear you. Um, but I want to talk to you. Let's get right into it. So let's talk about the Barbara Mendez case that you guys reopened on Oxygen's Cold Justice. There's been some updates since that one show aired. Mendez's husband, Robin, was found guilty of killing her at her job, which I believe was the credit union. And, you know, what was the motive in that case that you guys... Thing. Well, I think it comes down just to, you know, love. It was just basically that uh, the suspect, the husband, there was marital problems, he wanted a divorce, she wasn't going to give it to him, and there was insurance money, and it's that simple. It was just a, a murder, basically, on greed. What is it like for you guys to know that the, the show has a formula that can work and that can provide that kind of justice? I think the, only, the other cool thing about that case was the key to solving it was always the girl who was a rape victim. And the suspect started having sex with her and raping her when she was 14 years old. Mm -hmm. So she was the one that was always going to break the case. And for her to today come testify stronger and completely truthful about what happened to her, she was the star of the trial. She was the star of this case. And because she came forward as a strong woman who had been raped as a child, that's why he's sitting in prison. Wow. Incredible. I mean, that story, yeah. I, we could probably talk about it all day and have another show just to kind of unpack all of the different storylines there. Um, but important to have her voice there at the forefront as a survivor. I want to ask you, um, you know, what are you guys taking part here at CrimeCon? What are we taking part in? Yeah, what's the panel you guys have together here for Cold Justice? So we're going to um, have some questions that we answer for our our panelists and we're going to hopefully reveal a little bit of things that, that people don't know about and just kind of get some insight as to how we do our cases and our personalities actually. Yeah. What is it like for you guys to work with each other, you know, on a day-to-day -day basis when you're doing the show? It's kind of hard putting up with Steve, right? That's yeah, it. And why is that? that? I'm not saying anything. I'll be fired the New York second off of this show here. But yeah, it is different. Really you know, and actually, when we get to these places, you know, that we're split up. It, they, I know it looks like we're together yeah. constantly. And right. We're not. We're out in, in the fields with different things. So you all, it's kind of like a puzzle. You try to put it together. Everybody's got a different piece, and we're not together that often. Yeah, so it's cool to have you guys here all together at an event like yeah. this. Definitely. Yeah, and yeah. you guys get to reconnect too. And then, you know, a lot of people always want to pitch you guys stories for cold justice. There's so much that goes into that one hour of a show or two hours and then the entire series. How do you guys come through those stories and you're working with, like, producers of the show? It's a, it's a very difficult work in progress because there's 44 minutes to a show. And what we would Kelly, show I just want to, I'm going to give you my mic. Just so that we'll, we'll rotate. They're having that, a problem with this. Mic. Is that better? Yeah. So, 44 minutes to a show, we would probably want to show what a great investigation we did. We did everything, we thought of everything, and it never makes the show, which is frustrating for us because we'd see people say, Y'all forgot to do this, and it makes us crazy. And then you have the TV in that's trying to tell the story and make it nice and emotional, and it's just a, you know, it's like a struggle. Does this mic work? I'm just going to ask them. Oh, we're good, we're good. You can hold that one. Um, we'll give you that one. Um, you know, what's a case, because you guys come through a lot of cases, and I know you look at cases that maybe, you know, it, it takes longer to get into the production, or maybe you just weren't able to put it on the show, but what's a case that's still on your mind? There's so many. Maybe one that you've worked on already. Yeah, um, we've had a lot of sympathetic victims, and uh, anything that involves elderly or females as victims, it really kind of touches all of us. Not that we're not sympathetic to all of our victims, but um, when you have someone in a home, we had an a older lady that was in her home, and someone, an intruder came in and, and struck her over the head with a large ceramic item, and you, she wasn't bothering anybody, and that one kind of always, you know, sticks with me because she was just living her life. Anything for you guys of a case that's still on your mind? 
You know, honestly, I don't like that question because all of my victims would have their feelings hurt if I didn't name them. Yeah. So it's they all affect you. Yeah. And they all change and they all you, stay with you. And they all take about take a little piece of your heart. Could you guys give us any details about the upcoming season of Cold Justice? Uh, well, we would love to know when it starts, Oxygen. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Give that message. We got to relay that <laughs> message back. Yes. We got to relay that message back. So there's a lot of attendees here. We can see a lot of people are stopping by to, uh, to see you guys here. There's a lot of excitement. Um, but there's a booth where attendees can go in and they get to, you know, if, uh, and I know you guys know because you recorded your own messages here, um, they get to pick, you know, if they were in jail, if they were booked. Um, who they would want to call that's Oxygen Talent. So there's the Cold Justice crew, uh, there's Ice-T on there, Alani Coombs, Paul Holes, all these different people. And I want to know, between you guys on the show, who would you call or would it be a producer and why? Like we did something wrong? Yeah, yeah. Holy man. A lot of people want to call Kelly Siegler, they, you know what I mean? So I want to know who use you guys would call. Use the phone to call anyone. That's how you find the bad guys yeah. is when they use the phone. So yeah. I would just keep Good quiet. Point. <laughs> I don't know, honest to we God. We wouldn't call him because he wouldn't help us. He's already told me. And Jack Kel wouldn't I think the, the best one is Kelly said she'd hide her kids out. So that gives you, if she, you're going to hide out, call Kelly. If you're innocent, I don't know. You know, then we don't need a lawyer. But yeah, that is interesting. Yeah, we have an ongoing fight about that. I actually, what do you do if somebody you love calls you for help and they did something terrible? It's an ongoing discussion. Got it. Thank you guys so much for joining us. So excited Thanks, to have you here. And we know you're going to be heading out soon to, um, it's, it's, it's not a panel, right? It's like almost like an address with a, a meet and greet. So we know you guys are heading out to that meet and greet. So if there's attendees here, make sure you head that way. You follow the Cold Justice crew out. And we'll have our live coverage continuing. Um, we'll have Paul Holes' panel with, on the DNA of murder live streamed here shortly.